submissions. But I know we're gonna fly through that so freaking fast. So um, if y'all wanna submit some stuff, feel free to. Feel free to during stream. But yeah, you could uh, you could send me some crazy shit in there. Okay, I got 23 responses. So that's more. I'm happy about that. That's 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 a good number. That's a good number. Fuck your talk for real. <laughs> Gimme's advice and commentary is only her opinion and she is in no way a licensed therapist and is not responsible for what befalls you after following her advice. You are still responsible for any decision you make after hearing her advice which is again her opinion. She is not liable for anyone's action after they have heard her advice. This is from Shimonetta. Say, okay it says, I consume NSFW content every day multiple times a day. Slowly it's become more and more prevalent to the point it's consumed a lot of my life and it's starting to affect my daily life. Damn! hard relapses and withdrawals that don't stick, etc. And I believe it's what's holding me back from achieving my dreams I'm so close to. As well as a horrible attention span. Might be ADHD, but I have an attention span of a squirrel and I can't let things go like leaving a call because I think I'll miss out on something in the back of my mind or do basic tasks without mental stimulation or good enough reason half of the time. Okay, this was like two two dark secrets, right? This is two different, two separate. Uh, you might have a little problem, but you know the consume NSFW content every day? I don't think that's that like crazy. I don't think that's that crazy because when I was younger, at a point in, um, that's like probably one of my confessions. At a point, I was, I felt like I was addicted to porn. Not it! And like, nasty stuff. I don't fucking know why. But now, I don't think it affected my daily life though. I don't, uh, maybe I wasn't, maybe I wasn't. But see, like if it's actually affecting your daily life, you got a problem. That is, that is kind of fucking crazy. You just gotta like chill out a little bit. <laughs> Go touch some grass. Go touch some grass. What is this? I've never felt something like this before. Where like oh they feel like they need it that would suck that would suck my my thing would be more like oh okay i'm bored like let's go look at some stuff but yeah yeah that is an issue if it affects your daily life you gotta go like i don't know you gotta go do something okay this is from jordy it says jo jordy maybe okay, it says t <laughs> To be honest, I think Arby's is fire. Dr. <laughs> Dr. Pepper is just barbecue water. <laughs> Why are you calling it barbecue water? Sprite is angry water. If you say pineapple multiple times before you sneeze, it'll go away. I've never heard of that. If you replace the W and where, what, and when with the T, you answered the question. <laughs> There, that, and then. Wait, what was the question? This person is anonymous. In my junior year of high school, I wanted to get out of taking a music theory test, so I went to the guidance counselor and made him think I was schizophrenic. Ended up spending a week in a psych ward and went to unnecessary th therapy for a while. Wasn't worth it though, because I had to take the test anyway. I bombed that test. I wouldn't have went through with that lie. <laughs> I would have been like, no, <laughs> I'm, I was pretending I'm not crazy. I swear, <laughs> you, you kind of fucked up. Now everybody just thinks you're fucking crazy. <laughs> Why did they fake having a whole mental illness and fucking backfired? Okay, this one's from APZ. It says, when I was around five years old, my older sister had a life-size Barbie head model to practice makeup on. One day I grabbed it and took it under my bed and practiced kissing. I miss her. <laughs> just kidding. But don't judge me stream. I was just trying to rank up my kiss kiss skill tree. That's hilarious. That's fucking hilarious. Age five though? Hold on, APZ. I've never done that. Maybe when I was a teenager, I tried to make out with my hand, you know? But I don't know about... <laughs> He was he was kissing up on that doll. <laughs> Why'd you say I miss her? <laughs> he said <laughs> Y'all read what Kaiju just said? He said I cried when I realized my ribs were in the way. <laughs>
I have a limited power! <laughs> Also anonymous, it says I get no bitches main. Why the fuck does this person not get bitches? Whoa, let me tell you what's wrong with you. <laughs> okay, this is from Young Otto. I've been calling you Young Gotto. Why the fuck have y'all not been correcting me? When I say your name wrong, correct me! <laughs> are you mad? Yes, if you are, I'm sorry. Okay, I was I was smashing my ex and she farted real loud mid-stroke. Get over it. <laughs> it happens. It happens. Okay, this is from Jad. Um, it said I would hold down my nephew and fart all over him in junior high. He was a victim of suicide six months ago, and I can't stop thinking about how my last words were "smell you later." <laughs> Bro. <laughs> Okay, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna tell you that you farting all over him is kind of normal, but that you, you should not feel responsible for for that. And you farting at him probably had nothing to do with his suicide. Okay, this is anonymous. I named the Minecraft dog after my ex girlfriend's golden retriever and would burn it alive, but never to the point of death. Why the fuck did her dog do to you? What did her dog do to you? Anonymous, from your point of view, do you think guys that have more girl than guy friends is sus? The person I'm talking to knows the majority of these girlfriends and she's cool with it, but we do argue about it sometimes. We aren't even together, so what's the problem? We're just messing around and never talked about getting together, so we just flirt here and there. I know people catch feelings, but if you're gonna mess around, you should know how to control your feelings, right? Am I at fault or is she? I mean, uh, you can't really control your feelings. Sometimes, like you can't just sit there like, oh, I'm not gonna like them. And then just, it's gonna work. If you like somebody, you're just gonna start liking them. I have more girl than guy friends. I would just cut the shit. If, if y'all literally aren't in a relationship, then I would just be like, hey, like, let's just stop what we're doing. I could tell you're catching feelings. Let's just stop what we're doing move on but yeah she you're not at fault she shouldn't be getting mad at you. if she's not your girlfriend she doesn't have a right to sit there and be like hey you can't hang out with these people not gonna lie kaiju is so damn thick <laughs> It says, I hadn't had a girlfriend since I was in middle school. Hell. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> a, I am in an interracial relationship and my family doesn't accept it. It's been a long time and we are doing well. I don't care if I would be disowned, but to let it be known to them or, or try to reason with them being in denial. Honestly, your family is fucking racist. Fuck. You need to tell them that you love this person that you're with and just fuck whatever they, they say. You know, I feel like if your family really cares about you and shit, they'll, they'll, they'll open up. Said, I once had to wipe my shit with my own hands and I licked the poo off my fingers. You didn't even, you didn't even want to submit that. I don't know if I, that's nasty as fuck. You knew that was shit. You knew that was poop. 